Right, it's been a while since I've done a MFJ mag loop video. Um, I have had it up on the side of the house for quite a while and uh, over the last uh, few weeks or so I've noticed that the performance is gradually sort of, it, you know, you know when you've had an antenna up for a while you get to know how it performs and uh, it felt like it just wasn't performing as well as it normally would and uh, I mean you've got a very, they're very high Q so you've got quite a narrow uh, tuning band on it anyway and it felt like that band was getting narrower and I couldn't get the SWR down as low as I used to so I had a feeling there was something not quite right with the antenna I'm not sure whether it's the antenna or the feeder cables so uh, I decided to pull it down because um, I wanted to have a look inside just to give it a clean up and also I've got another project on the go which uh, You'll probably see later I wanted the antenna space on the side of the house for uh, something different but I digress the, the point is I pulled the uh, mast down and as I tilted the mast over as I walked the mast down I got a lovely shower of rainwater fell out of the antenna right on my head which uh, wasn't much fun so after a few choice words uh, I've got the antenna off the mast I've, it was uh, mounted horizontally I've changed the mounting so it's now vertical and I've mounted it on a tripod stand out in the garden so I'm going to go and pull the uh, panels off and uh, have a look inside see if I can figure out what's going on and uh, basically just give the thing a little bit of a clean up. Okay so we're outside I've got the cover off and the good news is that there really doesn't seem to be all that much wrong with it. I'm looking at the uh, worlds along here and they're all intact. Compa capacitors in uh, good shape. I know MFJ has a, uh, shall we say, uh, a few quality control issues. So these capacitors, there's, they have an issue where, uh, if you can see where my finger is, where it attaches onto the motor, they can be a bit loose. So sometimes uh, the motor turns and the capacitor doesn't, or vice versa. Uh, you've got a bit of replay in there, but you expect that in the gearing of the motor. So capacitors all good. No. Uh, bent fins or anything like that. Worlds are all good up here. No sign of any insect infestations or anything like that. It all looks uh, actually pretty clean in there. No uh, nasty green mould marks or anything from where it's been holding water. Um, so there's your motor there. That's the control cable for the motor. comes down and if I turn it around and we can see that control cable comes down into uh, the bottom here and this is where your uh, coax cable plugs in and see here this is your uh, actual loop um, which connects magnetically hence the term magnetic loop to your main outside loop so uh, about the only thing I'm spotting is if you look down here there's like a p-clip here which it looks to me if I can get the camera to focus it looks to me like that wire should go in that p-clip same on that side and uh, it, that appears to have been omitted so uh, I don't know if there's a reason for that but I, I think what I'll do is I'll uh, put that wire back in those two p-clips and uh, that should be good. I can't see an awful lot wrong with that so uh, I suspect if there is a problem it's probably in the feeder cable somewhere. And to be thorough and uh, also if I'm honest to satisfy my own curiosity I decided to uh, run the motor with the cover off just to uh, check the operation of the capacitors. As you can see it moves very very slowly uh, heavily geared down these things because they're very uh, sensitive on the old tuning but you can see the uh, capacitor plates moving there. Right so it's all back together and uh, just mounted on the tripod on the ground I haven't put it back up on the mast like I said I want that mast space for uh, another project so uh, it's just on the tripod in the garden at the moment at ground level of well about head height and um, it actually seems to be performing a lot better so I don't think there was much wrong with the antenna itself to be honest I think whatever the problem was if there was a problem is uh, 
probably in the feeder cable so I need to have a closer look at that feeder cable but uh, I've had uh, a couple of hours this afternoon just on the FT8 and the, I've had quite a nice little run on 40 a couple of contacts on 30 so uh, I'm happy that antenna is working, uh, working well Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.